everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, Maruka waits for Yamane's pen pal. Uh -uh. Oh, it's so hot. Why did I think it was a good idea to go for a walk? I'm so silly. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. Hey there. How are you, Sakura? Oh, hey, Yamane. Where are you off to? Well, I'm going to the station to pick somebody up. For real? In this heat? You must really like them. <laughs> Huh? My pen pal's coming to visit me for the first time. Did you say pen pal? I didn't know you were writing to somebody. That's right. And they're coming to see me because it's the summer vacation. Huh? Dear Yamane, I'm going to visit Shimizu and come and see you this summer. It'll be fun. <laughs> and there I was thinking that you were just the kid with the weak stomach. Boy, was I wrong. You're a regular ladies' man, aren't you? <laughs> Being a pen pal has nothing to do with being a ladies' man. Uh, you, you've got the wrong idea, Sakura. Besides, it's a guy. What? It's a boy? Oh, that's too bad. No, it's totally cool. And I really want to meet him. What? And he told me he looks like somebody. Apparently, he looks identical to Michiru. Michiru? That's right. Michiru's my number one idol. It's Michiru Joe. <laughs> And his name almost is the same, too. He's Mitsuru Ichijo. Doesn't that sound cool? He lives in Hamamatsu, and he's in grade six. Uh-huh. Mitsuru Ichijo, who looks like Michiru Jo. The name alone seems to have entranced Yamane. Anyway, his train's gonna arrive any minute. I better get down there. See ya! Hey, would you mind if I came to the station with you? Huh? You wanna come, too? Well, it's not every day you get to see someone who looks like somebody famous, so I'm just curious. I'd like to take a look and then I'll go. Pretty, pretty, please. A boy who looks like Michiru Joe. A boy who looks like Michiru Joe. Uh huh, and he should recognize me by this dolphin t shirt. Huh? Him? He doesn't look 100% like Michiru, but the hairstyle is kind of similar. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ah! It's him! I knew it! Uh, it's him! It's Michiru! I'm over here, Mom! Uh, uh -huh. did he just say Mom? It's so nice to have you back. Oh, you're so tan. How was Grandma's house? Did you have a good time? Yeah! That wasn't him. No. But then where is he? There's nobody else here. Maybe he missed the train? Well, the next train's not for a while, so let's go. I can't. He's coming from so far away. I better wait here for him. Right. Okay, well, I'm gonna take off if you don't mind. See you later, Yamani. Oh, uh, sure. Ika! Oh, my stomach! Are you okay? Hey! What's wrong? Are you okay, kid? My, my, my stomach is hurting me. I think we should take him to the station office. Oh, definitely. He should lie down for the next hour at least. Hold on to my arm, kid. I I'm all right, sir. I have to stay here, you see. I'm waiting for someone, and if I'm not here to greet them, then that'd be bad. But you're sick. I have to wait for him. All right. 
right, the only thing that makes sense is if I stay here and wait. But... You go ahead with them. They'll look after you. But I thought you were just about to leave. Mm -mm. I don't have anywhere important to be. Besides, I really want to see what he looks like. Relax, just leave this job to me. Looks like it's problem solved. Thanks a lot, Sakura. I I I'm sorry to put you out like this. I appreciate your help. <sighs> Sometimes doing the right thing can be boring. A boy who looks like Michiru Joe. A boy who looks like Michiru Joe. <laughs> I don't see anyone. Where is this guy? Why isn't he here yet? What is going on? Does he even exist? <sighs> now I'm really thirsty. My mouth is totally dry. I need some water. Oh, yeah, but first I should write something on the message board. Alrighty, that's perfect. talking about? You're Mitsuru Ichijo, right? No, I'm not. That's not my name. What? That's not your name? Uh, you, you're a girl? Yes, of course I'm a girl. How dare you? I, I don't believe it. I'm really sorry. I need to get back to the station right away. Uh, boy, I sure hope Mitsuru hasn't arrived yet. I don't see anybody waiting. Uh, at least one thing is going my way today. But seriously, why do I have to suffer so much for this guy who's clearly way later than he should be? Curse you, Mitsuru! I should never have offered to stay here. He's not my pen pal. I have nothing to do with him. I should have just gone home. Sakura! Huh? Hey, Yamane, you're feeling better, I see. Uh-huh. I'm feeling much better now, thanks, Sakura. I guess Mitsuru hasn't arrived. Uh, not yet. And you've been waiting here the entire time? That's just awesome! You're really a nice person, you know that? Now that's what I call a devoted friend. You're really lucky to have a friend like that, I tell you, kid. Yeah! <laughs> Maruko feels a little guilty because of all the complaining she just did. Oh! Here comes another train! <laughs> Will he be on this one, do you think? I hope so. I don't see anyone who looks like Michiru Joe. I wonder if something happened to him. Maybe he got sick or something. Huh? Maybe the sudden pain in my stomach was some kind of telepathic signal that Mature was having an emergency. Either that or... Either that or what? Or his fans in Hamamatsu are blocking him. What do you mean? Oh, he looks like Mature Joe after all. He probably has tons of fans in Hamamatsu. They're probably all over him. Don't go, <laughs> oh, yeah, 
pretty sure that's not what happened to him. Well, maybe he left a message for me at my house. I should call home and ask my mom. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Your money, Kun? Huh? Uh? The dolphin t-shirt. You must be Yamane-kun. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Sorry, I missed my train, you see. Then I stopped for lunch, and then I missed the next train. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. I I'm just glad you got here safely in the end. This guy doesn't look anything like Michiro Joe. <sighs> I can't argue with that. Uh, eh? <laughs> what was that? Did you say Michiro Joe? <laughs> Don't I look like him? <laughs> We look pretty much identical, especially the eyes. Well, you know, I'm not that familiar with him. I kind of forgot what Machiro looks like. Do I have amnesia? You know, I'm not in a position to say yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> Maruko and Yamane waited all day for this guy. And it turns out his only resemblance to a famous person was part of his name. In this episode, Mom suddenly becomes sweet. If you give me dumplings, I'll do whatever you want. Hey, Maruko, can you... What? Maruko. Maruko! Wake up, Maruko. You can't be sleeping. Oh, please, not again. I hear the devil's voice again. What are you talking about? As soon as my back is turned, you're asleep. <laughs> ah, it's the devil! Oh, hold on. It's only you, Mom. That's enough fooling around now. I shouldn't have to remind you, but you haven't finished your summer homework. Why are you getting so uptight? There's still days and days left. There's no hurry on this, is there? You have only three days left. Is that a fact? Only three days left. Where did the time go? So you need to get to work, girl. T T T. I'm trying to maximize my enjoyment of the summer holiday by being lazy, so I'd really appreciate it if you didn't disturb me, okay? Thanks, Mom. <sighs> the problem is that you're already lazy all year round, Maruko. Uh -huh. Hello, Sakura residence. Oh, hello, Honami. What? To Shizuoka tomorrow? So, you're going to Shizuoka with Tamachan's mother tomorrow, are you? How interesting. Don't worry, I'll make you lunch before I leave tomorrow. You don't have to do that. Take your time and enjoy yourself. It'll be fun for you. That's right. I'll splash out and have some lunch delivered. What? Are you sure? It's not like you do it every day. Yes, exactly. Just relax and have fun. We're getting takeout? Yummy! Good. I won't worry about it, then. Thanks for your understanding. Okay, time to watch uh, TV. Hey, hey, guess what? Tomorrow, Grandpa's going to get lunch delivered. What? Seriously? Yes, that's right. You see, your mother is going out tomorrow. Huh? Is that a fact? Not only are we getting lunch delivered, but Mom will be out of the house. What a day. What do you think I should order? I know. How about Chinese food? Oh, yes, that sounds nice. Okie dokie, then Chinese food it is. What? Come on, let's have something more special, like eel. What? <gasps> you want, um... That's so expensive. No, it's all right. You don't have to listen to her. Maruko, you're being rude. You get what you get, and that's that. Come on, we can get eel, can't we? Well, I... Yes, sure, of course we can. You see, Grandpa says it's fine. It is not fine in the slightest. What's more, I forbid you from having eel. I... What? And you can't have any other expensive dishes, either. Fine, then. I guess we're all having Chinese food. You should have just said yes to that from the start. Sorry, Maruko, but your mother's right. Eel is expensive. It's all right. Just getting anything delivered puts you way ahead of stingy mom. What? I'm stingy? Calling you stingy is an insult to stingy people. You're much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Maruko! The next day arrives. Well, look who's finally awake. What, Mom isn't here? No, she left already. Oh, right. Well, she left early this morning, didn't she? You know, Maruko, it's almost noon. Well, isn't it amazing how long you can sleep for when the devil isn't yelling at you and trying to wake you up? Well, it's almost lunchtime. Guess I'll call the Chinese restaurant. <sighs> oh, what an amazing day. I slept until almost noon, and now I'm about to have a yummy Chinese lunch. This is what I call living the high life. Ugh, it's gonna be so nice not to be yelled at for the whole day. 
<laughs> uh, Maruko, heads up. Your mother is going to be home soon. You should probably start cleaning up now. No problem, but I'm just at the exciting part. I'll start cleaning when I find a good place to stop, okay? Okay, but, uh... I'm home. <laughs> oh, goodness, she's home! Uh, I gotta clean, I gotta uh, clean! This is your fault! Why did you tell why me before? Is my fault? she's gonna kill me! Oh, help me, help me! Uh, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try! What are you doing? Uh, welcome back. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, I'll clean up right away. I'm, I'm gonna get yelled at! Just keep cleaning, and I'll start getting dinner ready. Huh? Oh, I almost forgot. I'd better get changed first. I don't want to get my nice clothes messy. Uh, she didn't yell at me. N no, she didn't. <laughs> so, your summer vacation's almost over, huh? Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. My shoes are too small. I need to get a new pair before school starts again. Oh, fine. I'll get you a new pair tomorrow. Uh, no fair. Why does she get new stuff and I don't? Look, it's not my fault my shoes are too small. Hey, Mom, buy me something too, please. You can't just ask for new stuff. That's so not fair. Why don't you butt out? You're being bossy. Sorry, what did you just say? You heard what I said, bossy. <laughs> Would somebody stop her? She's being so annoying. <gasps> <sighs> She's gonna blow. I'm going to get yelled at because of Maruko. You should stop fighting. I don't like seeing frowns on your pretty faces. <gasps> Maruko, I'll happily buy you new shoes when you grow out of your current pair. <gasps> Why is everybody staring at me? Do I have food on my face or something? No, no, I I'm not staring. Neither am I. I'm looking that way. <laughs> well, that was weird. Why was Mom acting so strange? I don't know. She wasn't herself tonight, was she? Normally she bites her heads off when we fight like that. Yeah, maybe she's getting sick. Yeah. Except I saw her eating all those leftovers from dinner tonight. It seems silly to only keep these tiny bites. I'll just finish them. Interesting. Well, well, I guess she's not sick then, is she? I guess not. Hey, Tama-chan, did you finish all of your summer homework? Uh-huh. And how about you? <laughs> Thanks for coming yesterday. Sorry I gave you so little notice. Not at all. It was very useful. How about you? How are things going at your house? Very well so far. But I am finding it quite difficult. Yes, I am as well. But we have to keep trying, right? Oh, well, anyway, see you later. See you soon, Maruko. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye <laughs> now. See, see you later. later. Did you hear that? Huh? Mom said to her that we have to keep trying. I wonder what that's about. Dunno. Yeah, maybe it's a diet. If that's the case, then she's destined to fail. She was plowing through those leftovers like Hogzilla. <laughs> what did you say? Hogzilla? <gasps> uh, uh, uh. I didn't really mean Hogzilla. I just meant that sometimes you eat a little much, that's all. Hey? You just doomed us both. <sighs> that's actually quite funny. <laughs> Well, I thought for sure she was going to finish us just then. Yeah, me too. Something's definitely wrong with her. Mm-hmm. She's been acting super sweet since last night. That's right. But wasn't she acting completely normal before she went to Shizuoka yesterday? Uh, something happened to her in Shizuoka. <gasps> Think about it. She's been acting weird since she came back, hasn't she? Uh, could it be? Could it be what? Maybe she's a clone. Huh? <sighs> Maybe our real mom was abducted by aliens and they replaced her with a clone. Aliens, get out of here. That's impossible. We saw something about that on TV, though. But that was on TV. Don't you remember what the presenter said? Aliens could be walking among you in your town right now. And then he pointed his finger at the screen right at us. Shh. You're talking so loud. What are you two talking about? You're both so lively. Uh, <laughs> just something we saw on TV. Nothing special. I see. If mom is a clone, or she's been abducted by aliens... <laughs> Excuse me, Maruko. Ah, don't eat me! <laughs> so, your homework. Have you finished it yet, my little one? Not yet. I've been thinking about aliens, and I haven't had a chance to start it yet. Aliens, you say? And you haven't started yet? <sighs> oh dear, well, I suppose you better start now. Good luck to you. Hmm? She didn't even get 
<laughs> that settles it then. They abducted her. Oh, wait, you creepy alien clone creature. What have you done with my real mother? I have to do this. I have to rescue her. Yeah! You scared me, Maruko. Why did you do that? What did you do with my real mom? Give her back to me, you weird clone! Your real mom? A clone? What are you talking about? I want my real mom back. She may be a stingy, shouty, middle-aged glutton, but she's my mother! I beg your pardon? I want my uh... real mom back. Give her back to me right now! Give her back! Oh, Maruko, what's happening here? Hey, what's going on in here? I want my mom back, not this weird polite alien! <sighs> Honestly, now. Don't be ridiculous. I am your real mother. No, you're lying. You were abducted by aliens in Shizuoka. I went to Shizuoka to hear a lecture from a famous parenting guru. If you want to stop scolding your children, first take a deep breath and calm down. Then you need to observe them. Because if you want to raise happy, balanced children, you should always be smiling. Happy mothers raise happy children. So I've been trying hard to keep smiling since I came back last night. You what? To be honest with you, this is much, much harder than I thought it would be. So, so you really are my real mother after all? Absolutely. But mom... You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Just keep being who you are. Don't you agree, sis? Yes. <sighs> Guess you're right. I can't change who I am. Right. So you better listen up right now. Uh -huh. Start your homework. Uh -huh. I can't believe you haven't started. Summer vacation is almost over. What is wrong with you, Maruko? <laughs> She's definitely my real mom. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> She might be scared, but Maruko is also relieved to see her mother return to normal. And surprisingly, her mother's angry voice is a powerful motivator, and Maruko got her homework done quite quickly.